Here's three tips to reduce your game dev pain. First is streamline level creation. For me personally, I create levels in text files and then parse those into the game automatically. This speeds up level creation tremendously. This is also what I used in a regex adventure a few years ago. I translate the text on the left into the level on the right. If you want to go even more extreme, you can use JSON. With JSON, you can specify even more information about each spot in the grid. The health of the enemy is 9 or it does 3 damage or in this case, what each symbol maps to. In this case, they map to themselves. Because these levels are just text files, you can generate them with any tool that can output text, like Python. You can mass produce levels randomly or just get ideas from this. It's up to you. The next tip is to get feedback often. I've seen this too many times. People will spend days or weeks or even years on some feature or game, but their audience doesn't actually like it. Instead, I recommend getting feedback way more often. Is this game actually fun that I'm working on, or should I scrap it and move on? If they say it is fun and there actually is some interest, then it's a nice morale boost for you. Even if they want you to change a few things, then, oh, people actually like this thing I'm working on, I'll keep working on it. That's even better for me. The last tip is to use version control. The most common one is Git. It's 2024. How are you still losing your work? Oh yeah, my project corrupted, so I just lost five years of work. It's three commands. If that's too much for you, use GitHub Desktop. Literally, you back it up in two button clicks. You can always go back to some older copy of your game where something actually works before you broke it. It also helps a lot with collaborating with people. My first group project, we used Google Drive to just sync our changes with each other. I'm not going back to that. I am so glad I switched to using Git and GitHub. If you want more tips, check out this one for Godot workflow tips. Other than that, thanks for watching.